Welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today we will explore imaging of the central nervous system and radio diagnosis. Neuroimaging or brain imaging is the use of various techniques to either directly or indirectly image the structure, function, or pharmacology of the nervous system. To maximize neuroimaging's contribution to diagnosis, the choice of imaging modality must be based on indications and the knowledge of the modality's strengths and weaknesses. Structural imaging, which deals with the structure of the nervous system and the diagnosis of gross, large-scale, intracranial disease, such as a tumor, and injury. Functional imaging, which is used to diagnose metabolic diseases and lesions on a finer scale, such as Alzheimer's disease, and also for neurological and cognitive psychology, research and building brain-computer interfaces. Magnetic resonance MRI, is a powerful new imaging modality which has recently become competitive with X-ray computed tomography CT, for imaging of the central nervous system CNS. Diffuse optical imaging DOI, or diffuse optical tomography DLT, is a medical imaging modality which uses near-infrared light to generate images of the body. The technique measures the optical absorption of hemoglobin and relies on the absorption spectrum of hemoglobin varying with its oxygenation status. MRI is able to image directly in the transaxial, coronal, and sagittal planes. With appropriate pulsing sequences, MRI is more sensitive than CT in the detection of early disease associated with increased water content. Event-related optical signal EROS, is a brain scanning technique which uses infrared light through optical fibers to measure changes in optical properties of active areas of the cerebral cortex. Functional magnetic resonance imaging FMRI, and arterial spin labeling ASL, relies on the paramagnetic properties of oxygenated and deoxygenated hemoglobin to see images of changing blood flow in the brain associated with neural activity. Magnetoencephalography MEG, is an imaging technique used to measure the magnetic fields produced by electrical activity in the brain by extremely sensitive devices such as superconducting quantum interference devices, squids, or spin exchange, relaxation free. Positron emission tomography, PT, and brain positron emission tomography measure emissions from radioactively labeled metabolically active chemicals that have been injected into the bloodstream. Single photon emission, computed tomography, SPECT, is similar to PET and uses gamma ray emitting radioisotopes and a gamma camera to record data that a computer uses to construct two or three dimensional images of active brain regions. Functional ultrasound imaging FIS, is a medical ultrasound imaging technique of detecting or measuring changes in neural activities or metabolism, for example, the loci of brain activity, typically through measuring blood flow or hemodynamic changes. Currently, FMRI is a preferred method of imaging brain activity compared to PET, since it does not involve radiation, has a higher temporal resolution than PET, and is more readily available in most medical settings. The amount of radiation a patient is exposed to in a PET scan is relatively small, comparable to the amount of environmental radiation an individual is exposed to across a year. CT scans can expose patients to levels of radiation 100-500 times higher than traditional X-rays, with higher radiation doses producing better resolution imaging. Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Institute skilled nano degree program. Hope you have gained a lot of information through this presentation. Please share, like, and subscribe our unique medical channel. Good luck.